sense, became the war cry of the Indian movement. My songs are about the Indian point of view in defense of our culture. And it's really so important now because we really got to do something about the culture and preserving it because we're losing a young generation to hip-hop and, and rap. Hip-hop and rap is stealing our young kids over there and it's distracting them to a place and point where it's a pretty rapid rate. And you know why that is? A lot of the elders didn't know enough about the culture and nobody can be blamed. But they didn't bother learning the language. So they didn't teach the kids the language. If the elders didn't learn the language, then the kids are not going to learn. So I think everything is related to that time. We were all experiencing it. So. We got a lot of people out there now. I get a lot of people come at me, no, I'm part Indian, I'm part Cherokee. This song is about that. Where were you when? Needed you, my friend. But where were you when you came close to the end? When our land was being stolen, justified. When we were being massacred, we didn't even cry. When they put us on a reservation, we didn't lose any sleep. When we were starving half to death, you had enough to eat. So tell me where were you when needed you, my friend? Where were you when needed you to bed? Now you claim to be a or or Cherokee. But where were you when we came close to the end? We cried out to you, you never said a word. When we had no voice, you never even heard. When our freedom was being denied, you never questioned why. When we needed help somehow, the well was always dry. Just the opposite. 
The Indians, the earth is the Bible. So we have to go out there and teach now these American people who, who are so nice in their Christian ways. That's the trouble with the Bible. It's so people-centric. It doesn't involve itself with the earth. It's just people-centric. So what we have is a whole society that's that way. And they think everybody should be Christian. And uh, I think the Bible way, the way it's written, is written wrong. And we all know that it was written almost 100 years after Christ died. And Christ was not a Christian, he was a Jew. And Christ did not carry the Bible. The Bible was written almost 100 years after. So you add up some things and you begin to see all that was based on a lot of doctrines I think they kind of put together out of what they kind of remembered Jesus said and didn't quite get it all. And they said it wrong. And so I think that that's, that's why I think Indian people should look into their own Indian belief about how to live on earth. We have a, a spirituality of our own, it's about the earth, it's about everything, all things are connected. And, and one of the ways we pray to God through, is through the tree, pray to God through the tree, pray to God through the tree, every day. It's not uncommon to go back home in a Lakota reservation for grandma to take a young child, Takoja, out to the tree and pray to God through the tree. As the spirits to look after this young one. I'm saying all this because some people just don't know how to connect to the tree, back to the tree. That was the old way in Europe. Even the Europeans used to pray to God through the tree before the Bible. That's how the Christmas tree gets in the house. And they don't know that either. That's part of their old religion. So, this is about the environment, you know, El Gore's movie is, there's not much time left. There's not much time. He says 15 years. We probably have less than that. Because it's spinning so fast, you see things going out of control so fast. You look at the rush hour every morning and every night. That's one indication of things getting, spinning out of control. The environment's getting more polluted and it's impacting so much more uh, in a greater way, impacting everything. So there's something going on and nobody can do anything about it. You know, we wanted them to live with the Indian values on this earth when they got here. We wouldn't have all these problems. You could still drink out of rivers because rivers were sacred. But no, it's based on money, greed, and nothing else stands in the way. <laughs>